G'day everyone, it's trout opening, it's the afternoon and I'm going to go out now and do a little bit of hole hopping to see if I can locate any hungry trout. Rightio, before I get into what hole hopping is, I'll just tell you that this morning I went fishing with Wayne Gardner, my good mate Wayne, otherwise known as Straubs. If you haven't seen the video already, check it out. I'll put a link above now. As with every single trout opening, we had an absolute blast. The fishing was very slow, but it was a laugh a minute. Now with trout opening, it's always hard because you never know where to go. I've never got a real feel on which creeks are fishing better and which, feet, which creeks are fishing worse and where the fish are biting and, and whatnot. That's why we have a slow morning, because we didn't know where to go, so it's trial and error. Which leads me into what I'm doing now, or this afternoon, which is called hole hopping. What I'm going to do, is I'm going to come to some little streams like this one, and just going to try a few holes. Some streams, such as this one, are streams that I've fished before. Other streams will be streams that I've never wet a line in. And I'm going to, this is called exploring. I'm going to explore, and I'm going to discover new places, and I'm going to see what the fishing's like in old places. It's not foolproof. If I don't catch a fish here now, it doesn't mean there's no fish there. It's trout opening. Somebody might have already walked through there. But, obviously, if I do catch a fish here, it means there are fish here. So, what I'll do, I'll go around. If I catch a fish anywhere, that'll tell me that there are fish here. If I don't catch a fish anywhere, I'll go back and try that spot some other time. But, by trying different creeks and just... Just, it's like a little samples, taking samples, just fishing a couple of holes or a hundred metre stretch from various streams. That should give me a clear indication on how the fishing is around the region and which spots are likely to fish better than others. Hole hopping, that's what I call this. That's what I'm about to do now. I'm about to head downstream here now and fish a section of creek probably a hundred metres long that's got four or five nice holes in it. Then I'm going to go and try another stream and I'm going to repeat that process and just see if I can find which streams seem to be fishing better than others. Got him. Oh bugger. That's good. That's a good sign. That is a good sign. That's a sign that they're feeding on worms. Got him. And it's a sign that the water probably hasn't been fished at all today. Now I can't wet my hand, but the ground is very wet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wet my hand on the dew that's on the grass. Lovely little rainbow trout. I'll get a quick photo of this one. There we go. See ya buddy. Off he goes. Right, good. The first hole I've fished in this creek, and I've hooked one and lost it, and then hooked one and caught it, presumably the same fish. But what that tells me is that I've been a bit worried, being that it's trout opening, that somebody might have been through here this morning, but that tells me that perhaps nobody has, and I'm the first one here. It also tells me that the trout are willing to take worms today. The water's a lot clearer in this stream, but the trout are willing to take worms. That's a great start. Right, now you've uh, seen me fishing in this spot before. I've actually nicknamed this particular spot the honey hole. Trout fishing in the honey hole. Now if I don't catch a fish in this hole, that tells me that I must have done something really bad to upset the fishing gods. must have done something really bad to upset the gods of fishing I think because they are not shining down on me. I don't think I've ever fished this hole without catching a fish. I always seem to see something in here but today I haven't even sighted a fish in here. Very interesting. You can actually see the white claws just there of a Murray crayfish.
Wow, this track is very chopped up. This track is in a hell of a mess since the last time I was here. Very steep little pinch. Hoping that these trees kind of hide me a little bit. I'm insane that I am wearing a uh, bright blue shirt. Oh God! Wow, that was quite a nice brown. He came out and hit my Stripe Tiger Micro you know. I set the hook. I missed the hook up and pulled the lure straight back into my face and hit me glasses. This is creek number five. And that was fish number two. <laughs> <That's> not, <laughs> I'm not liking them numbers too much. He was a nice, really nice brown trout actually. I think I've spooked him though. Now brown trout spook a lot easier than rainbow trout, don't they? Got to check my glasses now, I hope I didn't crack the lens. <laughs> he split shot, the uh, jig head came back and hit the hit my reading glasses at 100 mile an hour. Hole number five, fish number two, but it failed to hook up. But, this is actually a new spot. I've never fished here before. When I say creek number five, it's actually one of the, it's the same as one of the other creeks. I've tried four different creeks. This is just a different honey hole in the same creek as the other honey hole, if that makes sense. I've now got a new honey hole. By driving around and exploring and just looking around, I found a new spot. I've hooked a trout and lost him. I know there's a trout there. I know where this spot is. I've just found myself a new honey hole. Awesome. Right here, folks. Well, that's it from me. I've just got back to the car. How did my little hole hopping adventure go? Well, it went really good. The fishing was slow, but it's not always about the amount of fish you catch. There's other good things to happen. To surmise, I fished six different creeks. Well, I've actually fished four different creeks, but six different locations, because in two of the creeks, I fished in two different spots. So I fished six different locations. I caught a nice little rainbow trout in the very first hole that I fished in the first creek that I fished, and I thought the signs are good, and then I didn't catch any more fish. <laughs> I hooked one lovely brown trout on a, a Stripe Tiger Micro Minnow Soft Plastic, and he spat the hooks. It wasn't a good hookup, but the biggest positive for me today from this adventure has come from finding a new little honey hole a nice little hole that i can just hop to on a day like today when i'm just hole hopping around looking for spots a spot that i can hop into wet a line and try and catch a trout that's the biggest positive i found a few new tracks a few new access points and i've got a general feel for the fishing at the moment which generally feels like it's fishing pretty slow 
This morning I've been fishing with Wayne, with Wayne Gardner with straws. The fishing was slow. We fished two different streams, it was slow. This afternoon, four different streams, it's been slow everywhere. Whether I'm fishing secondhand water that other people got to before me this morning, or whether the barometer's not right, or for whatever reason, maybe the fresh flush of water that's pushing through after the rain that we got on Thursday, maybe that's causing problems, I don't know. But for whatever reason, it's pretty slow. But that's okay, because fish have to eat at some point in time. It might just be a slow year, there mightn't be as many around as there has been in previous years. I honestly think there is a, a direct relationship between wet winters and good trout fishing. Every time we get a wet winter with flooding rains, we get good trout fishing. This year we've had quite a dry winter. Perhaps we're in for a slow trout season. Who knows? It's early days. But hole hopping, it's a great thing. I've, like I said, I found a new spot. I've got a bit of a feel for the area at the moment and how the fishing is and what to expect over the next week or so when I go fishing while I'm still on annual leave. I hope you've learned something from today. Thank you very much for, for watching. Stay tuned. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure you subscribe and hit the little bell icon so that you get a notification each time I upload a new video because today is trout opening. I've got nine months of trout fishing in front of me and I'm going to be making a stack more videos.